Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to modify a workflow process in the next generation workflow studio. You will learn how to configure a task in your workflow and validate and activate your workflow process without depending on the Windows development client. For the purpose of this tutorial, consider a scenario where you want to update the credit limit of a customer. When the business analyst initiates a credit limit revision, the workflow sends an email to the credit manager for approval. We will add an information message task to the workflow, which triggers an email informing the customer that the new credit limit is approved. To achieve this, we will modify an existing workflow process cred limit. Before you begin the task, please ensure that you have access to a JD Edwards Enterprise One test environment that has the cred limit workflow process activated. Also, Ensure that Orchestrator Studio 926 is deployed in a JD Edwards Enterprise One test environment. We will begin by logging in to the Orchestrator Studio. Now, let's open the credit limit workflow. A workflow process may have multiple versions. The number that follow the workflow name represents the version of the workflow. Multiple versions may be listed as inactive, but only one version can be active at a time. Select the version that is listed as active. Otherwise, select the highest number version. The workflow opens in the diagram workspace. You must deactivate the workflow before you can modify it. After the workflow is successfully deactivated, reserve it to enable it for modification. Let's delete the existing send message task. Now we will add a new info message task in the workflow diagram. Open the message editor window. Click the To Recipient field and select Address Book from the drop down list. In the Address Book Number field, select MN Customer Number underscore AN8 from the drop down list. Now let's search for the message that you want to use. For this tutorial, let's use LM1235. Select the default message. Let us now map the values for the IDs defined in the message. For ID ampersand 1, select MN customer number underscore AN8. For ampersand 2, select SZ customer name underscore ALPH. For ampersand 3, select MN new credit limit underscore AG. Close the message editor window and save the changes to your workflow. Next, validate the workflow to check for any errors. As the send message is obsolete, you will get a validate warning to update the task. For now, click OK and continue. Release reservation after validation is successful. Before we can execute the workflow, we must update the workflow process as active. The system displays an active warning again as the send message tasks are obsolete. Click OK to continue. Now, we will test the workflow process for the modification we made. To test the workflow process, let's modify the credit limit of a customer. Log into the JTE HTML test environment. Access P03013 Work with Customer Master from the Fast Path. Retrieve the list of customers. Select a customer and access the Customer Master Revision form. Let's update the credit limit of the customer from $2,500 to $3,000 and click OK.
after the credit limit is increased, the credit limit workflow is triggered and it sends an email to the manager about the request to increase the credit limit. After the manager's approval, the workflow moves on to the info message task that we added. The customer receives the email that the credit limit has been increased. Note that the credit limit that appear in the email are the ones we configured in the info message task. For more information on Workflow Studio and Workflows, access the Workflows Guide from Oracle Help Center. Thanks for watching. Thank you.